Hi group one, it is the Sun Sage and thank you guys so much for tuning in. I just want to say thank you so much for your support, for subscribing to the channel, for liking the videos, for commenting. Just your overall support of the Sun Sage has been incredible and I want to say thank you so much, all right? So today's pick a card is their true intention. So this is where a lot of you will um, uh, seek clarity for what the true intentions of the person you are connected to are, all right? Um, so this will be for those of you who are interested in someone, connected to someone, dealing Dealing with somebody and you want to know if they're being genuine, um, what comes through, you know, whether it's perceived as good or bad, I, I will, you know, let you guys know um, through the cards, the messages that the cards reveal. And I'm going to go ahead and get started. All right. So whoever you will be thinking of, I will be channeling their true intentions. Okay. So group one, you have selected the Garnet. All right. Okay. And you have the Light Seer's Tarot. So I am being called to put some in the reverse. So I'm going to do that on camera. <laughs> I like to do reverses on camera. I don't know why, but I'm going to shuffle. But um, I'm going to get quite a few messages for you all regarding this connection to see what this person's intentions are. All right. Let's see what we have. All right. So for group one calling in the energy of the person they are connected to. What are this person's true intentions? What are your true intentions towards group one? Thank you. Knight of Wands. All right. What are your true intentions? Thank you. All right. I have the Nine of Pentacles in the reverse. I have the High Priestess in the reverse. And I have the Two of Swords. All right, so group one's person, what are your true intentions with group one? Seven of pentacles, and I want to grab one more. What are your true intentions? Thank you. Eight of cups. And we have the queen of cups at the bottom of the deck for this person's true intentions. I'm going to use these as my clarifiers. So I am going to, let's see. Yeah, let's do these. All right. So what messages are coming through as your true intentions with group one? Thank you. Let's see what messages come through. Secret love. All right. What are your intentions with group one? Thank you. Two can play that game. What are your intentions with group one? Thank you. Teamwork. What are your intentions with group one? Thank you. What are your intentions with group one? Turned off. All right. And then, well, let's see. I'll save these because I can clarify those towards the end. Um, okay. So the energy that I'm picking up for some of you, the devil energy isn't here, but I do feel like a lot of you have somebody who wants you to be completely committed, devoted, hooked, stuck on them. Okay. Um, if you're experiencing some back and forth energy with them, like they come in, they give you all this intense um, energy and then they pull away. That could be to keep you desiring them. And it could be to keep you um, in some sort of loop with them, right? Where you're constantly craving them and wanting them so that when they come back, they can have full access and energy. So that just came through. Um, I do feel like you have somebody who is used to doing that to people. However, with you, I am picking up with the Queen of Cups that this is something that this person feels is betraying their heart, the way that they move, okay? So for those of you that do have someone who is moving kind of funny right now, I feel like your person is in tune to what's happening here, right? They do want you to fall in love with them or to be in love with them, but... 
plot twist, they're in love or falling in love with you. So I do feel like there's energies here. Yeah, because I got strength at the bottom. Like they do their best to discipline themselves and hold back from um, craving you or when they want you um, not reaching out. You know, it's it's a power play, really. And so I do feel like this person, it's it's just like what we have here. Two can play that game, right? Um, if you're familiar with the movie, kind of like the push and pull dynamics of two strong um, people that are connected and neither one wants to seed any ground, right? And so I do feel like there's there's real love here, but it, it, it does feel like sometimes it gets overshadowed by these power plays that you could have in this connection. So um, let's go ahead and get into it. So with the Knight of Wands, I feel like your person's true intentions is definitely to have a playful, carefree, fun connection to you, all right? I also feel like, you know, this is representing, yes, their passion and desires for you, but it feels to me like this person does feel free with you and they do want to continue that, right? Um, this Knight of Wands feels to me like it is somebody who is making it clear they enjoy your company, um, they enjoy your time, they enjoy, you know, for those of you who have gone there, your body, the intimacy, things like that. Um, and so I do feel like there's something about them wanting to keep this going for as long as they can without having to give any sort of... Um, real true commitment, right? It's almost like your person can feel like that time is coming. It's almost like they know the time of their single life is winding down with the nine of pentacles here. And so they're trying to have as much fun as possible, right? Um, it does feel like this person has made a decision. The two of swords is here. The seven of pentacles is here, which lets me know. Um, I feel like they had some trouble, um, deciding if they wanted to settle down now, not because it had anything to do with you. I feel like they do like you. They're attracted to you, but there is something about giving up a lifestyle of freedom and a lifestyle of doing what you want to do and not having to answer to anybody and all that accountability that I feel this person wasn't down for at first. So I do feel like their intentions towards you are to have a good time with you, to make sure that you're you're the one that they want. I do feel like this person is falling for you. I do feel like there were some games played here by them. Um, it could be seen as a test. It could be seen as manipulation. Um, but I mainly feel like this person is coming out of wanting, coming out of like old patterns, right? Um, and so it, it, it actually feels feels like they're winding down uh, some of their behaviors here. Let's see why the Nine of Wands is showing up. All right, I saw the Queen of Cups again. It's the Six of Wands, okay? So um, this person's intentions, I do feel like what they feel, what they believe they have here with you is that energy of this is the one. Whenever I get the Six of Wands in a relationship type reading, um, in some sort of dynamic reading, I, I pick it up as, as somebody being pretty sure of themselves, all right? Um, this can come off as cockiness. Like this person just knows they have you. They know that there's nobody else that's gonna come before them. Um, but there's a definite energy here. Like you, you kind of have them in that mode, in that mode too. Um, there's, there's a, a kind of a loyalty here. Um, it's interesting coming through. They don't want you to know it. Seven of Swords, but I do feel like this person is working towards, um, you know, the best way to get themselves um, better connected <laughs> to you so that they can have this relationship with you. I do feel like this person's intentions feel like it's to have a couple of things in their life fall away or to release a few things before they fully go into this connection energy. But I also feel like this person is enjoying their time with you and they want it to continue. All right. So I do feel Feel like a lot of you, this person's intentions, um, you know, they may want to show you off, right? Um, they they may like the idea of having you by their side and having people possibly be envious of them. I, I can feel the devil energy through this this person's energy. So it definitely comes through that there's something about connecting to you that almost feels a little braggadocious, right? Like they have you on their arm. I mean, because you know, physically you are what they want. You are what a lot of people want. And so it looks good on them to have you. Let me clarify the six of wands and then move forward. Um, it's the five of wands. They beat the competition. Uh, they want people to know that you, they got you, right? And so this person's intentions are definitely feeling like um, they almost feel like they have the luxury of being able to slowly move towards you because they know that you guys are already hooked. 
um, something about the something about your energy group one is telling this person that your intentions are to be with them for the long term. And so for some of them, they interpret that as they can take their sweet time. For others of them, they're interpreting that as, OK, I got to get serious. Right. I still need to take my time, but and I'm not going to rush into anything. But I, I also really, really, really like this person, really love this person, desire this person, whatever you, the level of connection is. And I want to make sure that my my vibe is right so that when we do connect, I'm not giving off cheater energy. I'm not giving off deception. I'm not doing things that are going to jeopardize, jeopardize this connection. So the nine of pentacles in reverse for their intentions. I do feel like for a lot of you, this person has intentions to release the single life. Okay. Release sort of, you know, what it means to, um, for them to be independent, right? Um, this person hasn't relied on people in a long time. This person may not have even been in a relationship in a long time. So if I'm seeing the, uh, nine of pentacles upright for their intentions, it may feel a little bit like they don't really have any intentions intentions to give up this life just yet. With the nine of pentacles in the reverse, I do feel like there's some sort of energetic release that is slowly happening with your person. And so this can manifest in ways like, um, let's say your person is somebody who um, you guys don't live together for some of you and they go out with their friends. Um, they used to come in at three or four. Um, they're starting to train or condition themselves. I want to be in the house by 11. I want to be in the house by 10, you know, whatever, right? I want to condition myself to see what it feels like, right? I feel like this person is prepping themselves almost to see if this is what they truly want. And if they can truly do this, you, you feel like you have somebody who whose intentions have been a little confusing because yeah, they do like being single. Yeah. They do like, you know, possibly flirting with people, even if it doesn't go anywhere and they don't want to feel bad about it. And so this person does feel like they're starting to release some of those energies, but it's, um, it's, you know, it's a process. What is this nine of pentacles in reverse? It's the ace of swords. So anytime the ace of swords comes out for readers, it almost feels like confirmation of what is said, right? What was just said is the truth. And so, um, I do feel like there's, you know, truth in that this person is starting to release that sort of, uh, you know, do for yourself only think for yourself only right now. They're starting to find themselves in a situation where I need to start thinking about someone else. All right. I need to start thinking about, you know, um, sharing information as opposed to holding it back because I don't feel like I need to tell anybody anything because it's my life and I live it how I want. This is somebody who I feel is starting to understand what it means to open up and what it means to tell the truth, right? Um, you could be dealing with somebody who has manipulated others and who hasn't really spoken their truth to others because they were in that single mindset of, I can do what I want. I don't have to tell you anything. I'm a bachelor. I'm a bachelorette. I live my life for me, you know, it's kind of selfish, you know, but I do feel like, again, this nine of pentacles in the reverse comes through as a release of that type of energy where they are proud of themselves. Okay. And some of the things that they've accomplished. Um, and I also feel like they know that, that the time is coming where it's, it's time to start anew. It's time to open up to a new direction in their life. That ace of swords feels like it is the clarity they need, um, to go into, uh, seven of cups here to go into new territory, even if it's unfamiliar, right? Unfamiliar because they haven't been connected for a while. They've never been in a serious relationship, something like that, but they're excited about you, right? And so the three of wands is confirming that their intentions are the reason why there's any sort of movement at all, albeit slow towards you is because this person really has a uh, foreseen you in their future. And so I feel like the three of wands is, you know, that manifestation energy of them always possibly desiring a strong, committed relationship, a loyal partner. And it, it, showing up before them, right? Um, when you guys spend, spend time with each other, this person feels it more and more that the time is coming, right? They just have to wait for that right moment to make those decisions. So again, this is unfamiliar territory for a lot of them. Seven of Cups, um, they're a little confused about what steps to take here. Um, 
I do feel like, you know, this person does want you to kind of trust them, <laughs> right? I feel like the high priestess in the reverse, it's coming through is what I was saying was kind of that, that devil energy. It's almost like they don't want you to, you know, cause your intuition or your gut feeling could be telling you something different, right? It could be telling you that they're not serious, that they're not doing anything to get close to you. And I feel like um, they know that based on their actions, that would be the truth. Your intuition isn't wrong. However, I do feel like this is coming through that they want you to trust them a little more, you know, kind of like saying, yeah, you know, I'm not really taking fast action towards you, but that doesn't mean I'm not taking any action to make my, to clear my life so that it can be, you know, um, appropriate for a relationship to, to build and to grow. And so I feel like the high priest is in the reverse with their intentions. It does come off as they want you to need them, rely on them, trust in them, um, and not so much what you know, you know, um, <laughs> knave of pentacles, right? Um, this person does feel like they, you know, they, they are going to show you some sort of practical action with this knave of pentacles, which is like the page of pentacles, which can be an offer, right? Which can be something meaningful, which can be a small token of their affection or love or interest in you. And so I do feel like this, you, this is something you may not see coming. Okay. Um, this is also something that I feel this person's intentions are to present you, you know, um, with something that, you know, I, I can't, you know, give it, give you my all at this time, or I can't give you the world. Um, but, but here's a token of my affection, of my loyalty, of the fact that I want to continue getting to know you or continue being with you, something like that. Um, and so their intentions, yeah, the hierophant, it feels to be to see how you take this small offer. Um, I'm telling you, your person plays a lot of games. Um, to see how you take this small offer, right? Um, just to sort of bait you in to see if they believe you are deserving of that bigger offer of a relationship. Okay. Um, I do feel like you are dealing with somebody, this, this person, because of their behavior, um, look, I feel like their intentions towards you are to be with you. I also feel like their intentions are, because I have the star at the bottom of the deck, some of them have already gotten confirmation, synchronicity, signs that you're the one for them, right? I was kind of picking that up. Um, but I do feel like this is somebody who has lost their faith lost their trust in people. They don't believe in relationships. And so they're working on their faith in them, right? Um, it would kind of be a disaster for this person to fall in love and things not work out. Um, not because they are the ones ultimately who become codependent. They are the ones ultimately who feel like they can't live without a partner that they truly love. And so they've either been through that before or they're, they fear going through that. And so what you are experiencing is yes, this person is putting you through quite a few tests, right? Again, if you're familiar with this movie, two can play that game. You have two people that really care about each other, very attracted to each other, and they play the game almost till they can't play anymore because it begins to be painful to deny the love that you have for someone. So I do feel like this person is going to test you with a small offer, see how you take it, and then, you know, sort of let that lead them into um, the hierophant energy, the energy of something traditional, something you can count on, right? Not just somebody who is kind of going to be in and out, giving you inconsistency. The Hierophant is saying, no, I'm here to stay. All right. And so the star at the bottom of the deck is that similar energy saying that, you know, I then saw that we were meant, we were meant to be together, but I had to throw a little challenge, a couple of challenges at you to see if you, you know, could handle somebody like me. Um, so I do feel like this person wants you to trust them. Um, the high priestess in the reverse um, can also represent them feeling like you don't trust them. You feeling like if you if you really were paying attention to what's happening in this connection, you actually would have a bit more faith in them. All right. The star coming through is that faith, right? Or that renewal in faith. Okay. So I do feel like there's something going on that's testing both of your faith right now and, and yours particularly. So their intentions with the two of swords, 
Um, this, this comes off a little as, you know, kind of that you're going into a situation blind. Both of you feel like you are, right? Um, that's because the trust issues aren't as tight as they can be, aren't as secure as they could be. What is this two of swords about for their intentions? I do feel like this person was choosing between single life and committed life. Some of you have somebody who's still in that mode. Okay. Um, I'll do that again. Why is the two of swords here? What are their intentions? Their true intentions. Four of pentacles. Um, yeah, um, this person has been very selfish. You already know with their time, with their energy, they don't call back, they don't text, they hold on to things that are going on in their life um, because they don't want to, um, you know, sort of get get you all worked up, um, get you in an emotional frenzy if they're going through something dramatic or drastic. Um, they don't trust you to handle maybe some of the information they have going on. They don't trust you to handle, you know, um, yeah, I'm working a lot more or I'm starting a business or whatever it is they have going on in their life. It just feels like you know, you guys both have trust issues. And so that's a big problem here um, that I feel like this person wants to work on and they know it's going to take time. So that's why they've been kind of giving you bits and pieces of who they are, because it's almost like once they spring the whole, you know, who they are on you, um, it may for you feel like, oh, can I deal with this? Right. And so I do feel like this person has held back. Their intentions are, again, to like give you bits and pieces of them at a time. Every moment moment they spend with you is an opportunity for them almost interviewing you, almost surveying the situation, seeing if you are the perfect right person for them in reality. They already feel like they have this message spiritually, but there's something coming through that practically, can you handle somebody who may emotionally check out every once in a while? They're not going to be the most comforting. They're not going to be the most nurturing. They may love you with all of their heart, but they will be distant. And so I I do feel like that that is you know sort of that adjusting to coming out of being single the chariot here um again this is somebody who i feel wants to move forward um with you i don't i i'm not picking up that this is somebody who doesn't see you in their life i feel like they do um it just feels like there's been some dilemma between you know I've been really, you know, things I, I'm comfortable <laughs> where I am, right? I'm really comfortable uh, being single. I'm really comfortable um, sort of just focusing on me, right? Having to remember birthdays, anniversaries, having to, those things kind of, you know, give me anxiety, right? And so I do feel like you have somebody who is trying to, again, condition themselves to stop holding back in that four of pentacles energy and to move forward. It literally feels like they're choosing between, should I stick with what I'm used to or should I step out of my comfort zone and go in a direction that I'm unfamiliar with? even though I'm terrified, right? The chariot doesn't give off terrified, but there's energies here that this person is afraid of the passion they may have for you. Um, Cause like I said, I feel like a lot of them are falling in love with you or already in love. The seven of pentacles for their intentions. Um, this is that slow growth that I often speak of with the seven of pentacles. It's putting a little bit in to see what happens and going, Okay, we got through that. Let's let's try, you know, connecting a little more, a little deeper. And so I do feel like this person is moving very slow. You're I'm not <laughs> refuting that. Um, Ten of Pentacles here, but the outcome looks like it's going to be beneficial for you both. I really do. Yeah, the sun feels like um this is just a very difficult process. All right. But the outcome is going to, it feels like it's going to be amazing for this connection. I do feel a positive outcome, a relationship here. I do feel a union, a committed union. I do feel like this person is slowly moving towards it, but they are moving towards it. Queen of Pentacles. Exactly. So, um, I am picking up that you have somebody who, you know, if, if there was a choice at some point, I like that if this energy comes after the two of swords because it does feel like they've made a decision. All right. Um, it does feel like you have somebody who could be, you know, um, not letting you know they want it to be you, but it does feel like it's you. Right. Um, some of you could have a Capricorn, Cancer, a uh, Taurus. Pisces is here. 
<sighs> All right, so let me break this down. If you're dealing with a Sagittarius, their intentions, I feel like they want to be the main. Okay, so that's coming through for everybody. But especially if they're a Sagittarius, they want to be the main person that you're dealing with. Okay, um, if you're dealing with a high priestess, these are just specific messages coming through for the signs. If you're dealing with a Pisces, the energy is coming through that um, this person wants a relationship with you, but they're afraid that um, what they have to offer will is something you'll complain about. Um, you won't be satisfied with what they have to offer. Um, if you are dealing with a cancer, I feel like this person has closed off their feelings to you. So you, it's very difficult for you to see, you know, kind of connect with them, um, on purpose, right? This person doesn't want to know, wants you to know how gushy and mushy they are over you. If you're dealing with a Capricorn, there's energies here that this person's plan was always to be with you. It just feels like this person has manipulated the pace of this relationship so that you don't get too excited too soon while they're still in the process of growing and working on things. Um, and it doesn't have to be exclusive to those signs, but that was just, those were just some specific little energies that were coming through. And then the Eight of Cups, okay? So I want to see what comes through with this before I say anything about it because I do feel release coming from this person, relief, release of a life that they have grown used to and love. I'm not going to, you know, this person loves their single life. They love their freedom. Um, and, and you guys could love your freedom too, right? Um, it could be nice not waking up and, and having to deal with, you know, hearing rumors about your person, right? There, there's freedom in that. And so this person has definitely gotten used to this life of not having, um, to completely be vulnerable. Um, and yeah, but the emperor here is confirmation that they realize they are stepping into new territory. I mean, I don't feel like they're that afraid. I feel like there's some fear here for sure. Um, they don't want it to be a waste of their time. Knight of Cups, your person feels, it's weird. They feel impatient, even though they, they, you know, are keeping you waiting. They feel very impatient and they feel like, you know, once the ball gets rolling, they want things to go their way. They want things to move pretty quickly. And so I do feel like a lot of you have somebody who's been your, your divine counterpart all along with the Emperor, with the Knight of Cups. There is energy here here that they have known for a while that you are the one that they wanted to be with. The Eight of Cups um, is sometimes representing, you know, sad and unhappiness and unfulfilling. And I do feel like this is speaking to this person's single life, right? There's something they feel like they've been missing. There's something that they've been um, denying you, Emperor and Knight of Cups, not to hurt you, but to kind of validate what they felt was um, a need to stay single. And I do feel like that life no longer serves or satisfies them. And that is what they are walking away from. And this feels like what they're walking into, right? The emperor and the knight of cups. Some of you do have somebody that a part of this process of moving closer to you will require a release of someone else. Okay. Specifically, possibly a water sign, a feminine energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Pisces is very heavily in here. And now that that Knight of Cups is there, this high priestess could be um, them knowing that somebody is not going to react well to them connecting to you. That is for those of you who may be in third parties, may. All right. This person feels pretty disconnected from um, relationships. So it doesn't feel like they're letting anybody claim them. But the Queen of Cups at the bottom of the deck is confirmation that their intentions are to receive the love that you have to give and to give that love in return. All right. So secret love, um, this could have something to do with that high priestess that we saw in the reverse. This could represent this person knowing that they love you, but wanting to keep it to themselves for a little bit longer, right? Um, there's, there's a little bit of, I feel satisfaction in this person knowing that you guys are at a point in your relationship where, uh, you know, there's, there's not a lot of pressure just yet, right? The pressure is on. The minute you make that commitment, the, min the minute you say the words, the minute you start taking those actions. And so there's something about this, this love that they have for you being secret, right? Um, they don't want it to remain that way, but there's something also here about this person feeling like if there are things that they needed to do, release in their life, 
Again, for those of you that may have that third party energy, um, they didn't want you involved in the drama. Okay. And so they're trying to do that. I feel in a, um, a mature way, I'll say. I'm not really picking up that they're deceptive in that way. I do feel like they're trying to do the right thing when it comes to that. The two can play that game energy for their intentions towards you. Um, this person is going to be a constant challenge. You know, this person is not somebody who is going to, you know, give you the, the, the type of, um, relationship that you have been dreaming about and it may actually turn out to be something a little better right um i do feel like a lot of you have somebody who's going to start to settle into being connected to you on a deep level somebody who is going to begin to release some of those blockages and walls but for now right they're still in this this stage again this movie is all about two people who are trying to one-up each other and get in these power plays when they can't take it anymore right i don't want to play this game anymore more. I really do love you. So the walls are definitely about to come down for one or both of you. You're either going to say, I can't do this anymore. There's definitely vulnerability coming in, right? Because one of you are going to say, I can't do this anymore. And so their intentions could be to get you to that point and make you say it first. <laughs> I'll just say, right? Um, but for some of them, they feel like they are getting to that point and they may be the ones to say the things first, okay? Whatever those things you've been waiting for them to say. Teamwork, their intentions, this is good. This is representing somebody who's in that three of pentacles energy, somebody who wants to move forward together, somebody who feels like you are the one, they got the, you know, they got the, the right partner here and, and let's work on this together. Let's do this together, right? Um, you may even be in a connection where you feel like you guys don't even have a lot to work on, right? It's the usual stuff, communication, opening up, um, you know, telling me the truth, you know, things like that. But I do feel like this teamwork is confirmation that this person feels like you guys are very compatible and like you have something good already. They can only imagine how much better it can get if it's like serious, written in stone type energy, right? And so turned off for their intentions, right? Um, this is an interesting message because I do feel like this is somebody who um, has a tendency to kind of like turn you off with their behavior. I also feel like this is somebody who, um, when you start to assert your boundaries and, you know, let them know, I don't need you. And, and some, you don't have to say those words, but your actions could show them that, right? There's something about you being vulnerable that they're really attracted to. They love that receptive energy in you. They love you waiting around for them. It just is what it is. That's the type of person you have. And so um, there's something they love about people being loyal to them. Um, I do feel like for the most part, you guys have somebody who will be loyal to you. But I do feel like this turned off message for their intentions is coming through because there's something about um, them getting easily turned off. I'm almost picking up when there are too many boundaries or too much pressure. And so it's kind of like an energy of ease up, right? We are playing this game, this back and forth, this push and pull, but don't overdo it, right? Because um, this is somebody, emperor energy, who likes to lead, who likes to do things on their time at their pace. That's just the person you're connected to. I always try to just throw it out there. Um, you know, I'm not taking any sides. I'm just saying that's who you're dealing with. And and if you're trying to understand your person a little better, it will serve you to understand sort of the, the, the energy that you're working with, right? And so how do you break through someone like that, okay? Um, and so I, I do feel like there's something, this person, there's Aries energy here. Um, I do feel like there's something about this person, their intentions being to, yes, get you to continue to stay vulnerable, loyal, devoted, and break down to the point where maybe you reveal, you know, your true feelings or things you've been holding back. I also feel like there's something about them um, doing their best to hold on to their true feelings until the time they feel is right. Okay, so I'm going to grab some more for their true intentions towards you. Let's see, group one, <laughs> respect. This feels like somebody that kind of puts you through it. Sorry, but <laughs> when you officially have them, they treat you like the world. 
All right. Their, their respect is gained in an almost torturous kind of way. Um, it's very sort of, you know, play with your mind, hurt you sometimes. It's manipul, it's manipulative. It is. Right. And if you guys, you know, pay attention to some of the relationships your friends and family are in, you'll notice that there were something, they'll say some things about how that person behaved where it's like, well, their person did this and they're married now, or, you know, they've been married for 30 years and this is how their person acts. It's kind of real life, right? People really do have these types of flaws. People really do have these types of um, sort of inner wounds that cause them to sometimes treat the people they love the most and the people they're closest to with almost this um, disdain, you know? Um, but I do feel like this is somebody who is going to come around, someone who is going to mature, somebody who is going going to share the same respect that you've given to them with you and more. Um, it's almost like they know they have a lot to make up for um, their true intentions. We have heartbreak. All right. Um, again, you're dealing with somebody who does things at their pace. You're dealing with somebody who is, is still in a very selfish energy. And so their, their reality is you know, you'll get them when they're ready for you to have them. And so that can be hurtful. That can be a hurtful energy. It just feels like it comes through that your person isn't, you know, at that, they're getting there. But again, you know, it happens when they want it to happen, um, not when you want it to happen, as you've already experienced. Okay. <laughs> it's, it's been a very heartbreaking, you know, situation for a lot of you. Uh, security, their intentions. Um, again, you know, a lot of you do have somebody who has gone back and forth about what this is and, and what to, to make happen here. And I do feel like security is, is now the main goal on their mind, um, when it comes to you. Yep. All right. They want to have a strong friendship with you. Um, that's kind of one of the important keys to any good relationship, really enjoying each other, really loving each other, um, and caring about each other on that friendship level. And sort of that intense, um, you know, romantic level, but the security and the friendship here, again, this person does, this person does not trust easily. And so what you've gotten from this person, as far as their vulnerability has already been a lot for them. Right. And so I do feel like there's something about still building that trust and that security. Oh, I can tell group one, anything I can, you know, I can, I can share with group one things. And when they get mad at me, they won't use it against me or they won't, you know, go to social media and tell all my business just because they're mad. You're definitely being tested by this person. Um, what I say? Strings, right? There's a manipulative energy to them. This is kind of like the devil, which didn't come out in your reading. Um, but I, I felt it, you know, this person, this is their way of protecting their heart. This is their way of, of feeling like they have control over whether they get hurt or not, or how bad they get hurt. Right. I want to see how this person acts in these different situations that I put them in to see if they're going to result to like the low blows or they're going to do something like really, really, really bad. And so their intentions are to continue this test. Um, and to see, yeah, rejection. So, you know, it's just for me, I do feel like you're dealing with somebody who is going to um, continue to maybe deny you the things that you want instantly. All right. Again, you've, you're already experiencing this um, confusion is, is they want you to rely on them. They want you to sort of give yourself to them before they give themselves completely to you. And you know, everybody has their own decisions to make when it comes to their person. This person is that sort of roller coaster ride where it feels like you now have like a little bit of like a, a um, <laughs> a answer key to some of the things they're doing and why, right? And, and this isn't really the reading where you sort of get your advice, what to do about this and their intentions, but this is definitely the reading where you can pick up that this person has some manipulative behavior, right? Um, there's this push pull energy. This two can play that game. Um, they're kind of stuck on that right now. And even if they're moving slowly towards getting out of it, um, in the meantime, it still may be something that bothers you guys, something that is going to, you know, put you guys in a situation where you don't even know if you still want to connect to them. So I'm going to see if I can get some clarity. 
since we got um, some messages that can come through as confusing, what um, what are this person's intentions with group one? You consume my thoughts. All right, let's fix this. Okay, so that you look, you're on their mind. If you're in separation, if y'all are not having the best communication, even if you're not, you know, in the dealing with those things, you know, they know they need to open up more. Um, I do feel like this person, what's coming through is almost an energy because the strings are not connected to cut the strings, to stop playing the games, to stop trying to manipulate this situation. Um, I feel like with rejection, they're could be a deeper message coming through that um they really do want to they have this addiction or this they want to be chosen they want to be selected and so that's why they put you through all of these tests to make sure you are sure you want them um it's this weird way of sort of making sure they don't get hurt first or something um but they do want to fix <sighs> yeah they want to fix you know what feels bro yeah i choose you and we will be together soon. I do feel like they want to fix what they believe is broken. I'm just not sure they've connected the dots back to themselves yet as the, the more broken party who kind of plays these games as a defense mechanism and doesn't know how to drop the act. So um, there's, I'm going to get one more. Um, they feel like you are going to be together soon. Again, you know, this was all throughout your reading. They choose you, right? Even if they haven't let you know that, um, there's an energy coming through where, yeah, I do love you. That's this. All right. So their intentions, you already know because you're dealing with it in real time. Um, it's a little wayward with this one, but I do feel like if they can get their footing, if they can, um, humble themselves, that they can heal parts of themselves that feel the need to be overly protective of their heart, feel the need to be overly in control of situations. I actually do feel like this person, their intentions will um, begin to shift a little bit to, this isn't so much about my intentions being to continue to control the situation with, with group one as a way to control my feelings and keep myself in check, but that my intentions towards group one are now shifting towards what's best for this relationship. They're still in what's best for me mode, right? What's best for them. And so what's best for them is to continue to be in control which is why I was saying from the beginning, it feels like somebody that wants you to be in, in full sort of um, with them, like all in, devoted, loyal. And then, you know, they go, surprise, I was loyal to you all this time. I just had to test you, like something like that. <laughs> all right. So that is what I have for you, group one. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and thank you for your support. Um, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe. And if you're interested in a personal reading with me, check out the details in the description box. Hi, group two. It is the Sun Sage. And thank you guys so much for tuning in. Also, thank you guys so much for your support. Thank you for subscribing to the channel, liking the videos. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for um, the personal readings, the donations. Thank you so much. I truly appreciate you and your support of the Sun Sage uh, channel. Um, and I just wanted to get that out there. Okay. And also this is your pick a card reading. All right. Their true intention. So, um, this pick a card is, is going to tap into the energy of the person you are connected to, to see what their true intentions towards you are. Right. Um, this will be for those of you who just want to know if the person you're dealing with is sincere, if they're, you know, um, being genuine about their affection for you or if there's some games you know group one had a lot of that you know the person playing some games so we're gonna see what comes through for you this can resonate if you're in a relationship if you're connected to somebody dealing with somebody liking somebody you just want to know what their intentions with you are all right possibly before you continue to give them any more of your energy okay so let's go ahead and get into it group two you guys have selected the rose quartz all right and you have the mystical manga tarot, all right? So I will say, uh, okay, so first I I was called to do reversals. I'm going to do, I'm going to reverse on camera, all right? So you guys can see, just doing, all right, some reversals. And you guys have 
some really good energy for your person's intentions in your in your pre-shuffle energy, I will say. Um I do feel rockiness, okay? I do feel boundaries and challenges and but I also feel um overcoming okay being together soon or being together tighter than you ever were so that was coming through all right so let's see where this goes all right what are group two's um person's true intention so whoever you are thinking of group two that is who i will be channeling to see what their intentions towards you are their true intentions all right queen of coins thank you all right uh six of swords thank you Okay, we have the Hierophant, we have the Seven of Cups in the reverse, okay? So let's grab some more. All right, channeling your person, what are your intentions towards group two? What are your true intentions towards group two? What are your true intentions towards group two? The King of Cups in the reverse. Okay, I'm going to do that again. What? Okay. All right. So I'm going to do that again. I just need one. Thank you. Thank you. In the tower. All right. So you have a page of cups at the bottom of the deck. Okay. So I am picking up a lot of you may be broken up or in separation with this person, mainly because I feel like their intentions are to, it's almost like they're going to have a fit. If they reach out to you or if they call you or text you and you don't respond in the way they want you to or you don't respond at all. So there's something coming through with this page of cups, like their true intentions are to um, glide <laughs> into your life or back into your life to, you know, open the lines of communication. And it does feel like a little bit of brattiness showing up if they don't get their way here so there's something about you guys taking a break from this person um it's definitely coming through that you know i feel okay i forgot <laughs> let me do these all right um let me see what comes through thank you setbacks yep um let's see what comes through true love all right Okay, we have best I ever had. All right. And dreaming of you. All right. So, yeah, this person didn't want me to forget those messages. That's what I was like going on about the reading. And they were like, nope, you got these messages. So I do feel like this person wants you to know that they do truly care for you, love you, Um they, this this is somebody who feels like um, you don't just give up on something like this. OK, I will say that. Um, and I do feel like there's something coming through that you guys have a very special soul connection, um, meaning that there's a reason why this person has come into your life. This isn't somebody you just sort of um, connect with. And if you don't like them, you're able to move on. There's a reason why you guys are feeling so soul bound to this person. Right. And so I do feel like, um, you know, their intentions have this person is jealous okay this person is very jealous their intentions are to sort of stop you before you move forward with someone else the queen of coins is confirmation of this fear i feel like this can represent you and i feel like this can also represent what they know they have to offer you or what they know they need to offer you this is for those of you with somebody and they haven't proposed to you yet but you've been together for five years this is for those of you who are connected to somebody and they haven't told you what they want yet but they have been you know expecting you know girlfriend boyfriend energy from you but they haven't really given you a reason to so i really do feel like you're connected to somebody whose biggest fear right now is that they're going to lose the best they ever had which is you that they are going to um uh sabotage this okay they look at sabotage as not fighting for this okay and so that's could that could be the the energy they're in now not fighting for this and knowing that it's going to come back to haunt them if they don't find a way to work through this with you the queen of coins let's see what we have that here uh capricorn energy showing up also taurus virgo 
So yeah, Ace of Wands. Okay. So there's a, a big, you know, possibility here that you guys have been on the scene. You've been, you know, in action yourself, um, going on dates or connecting to other people, flirting with other people. They could feel that energy coming from you and they know that nothing is going on between you two. So they're feeling like, okay, you're about to move on or you're already starting to, you know, deal with other people or someone else. So I do feel like, I mean, look at how this dragon is holding on to this cross. Look at that, you know, sort of like stay away, you know, mine, right? I do feel like this person has a sense of jealousy and possessiveness here. Um, I do feel like there's something about them being very upset and angry right now and wanting things to work out. But um, Ace of Swords, not until they open up, not until they speak their truth to you, right? You guys have put up a boundary. You have the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Swords. So it's kind of like you said or you gave off that energy of, oh, well, if you don't tell me what's up or if you don't tell me your intentions, I'm going to move right along to the next person, right? Um, again, you don't have to have said that, but there's something about the way that you are moving that gives this person the energy, the devil here, that you are going to beat them at their own game, right? Um, you're going to find somebody first or that you are going to, um, you know, have somebody that's going to overshadow this person. Um, and I do feel like this is jealousy and possessiveness coming through from them. And so they feel like they want to stop you from moving on to something new. Okay. Um, a lot of you get that energy where you feel like you're moving on and you're just starting to heal and feel good feel great about yourself again and you're starting to you know see yourself without that person and start seeing yourself with other people and then boom you get that text message and so that's exactly what this is right they're about to interrupt that piece that it feels like a lot of you have with the six of swords and this queen of coins right now um and of course it's up to you but i do feel like that's their intentions interrupt this moving on before you fully move on to somebody else a lot of you already know it's coming right you already know just because you haven't heard from them in a month doesn't mean you're not going to hear from them within the week so um they're coming right um you do have somebody again this king of cups in reverse is calling me and it feels a lot like this double energy this jealousy this possessiveness this inability to control their feelings this inability to control the fact that you may connect to somebody else and so their goal is to stop that right this six of swords is i feel you peacefully moving into new territory or trying 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 group to to take your mind off of this person and off of this connection just to see, you know, what falls into your lap. And I feel like they don't want that. I, I do. I feel I feel like you guys are protecting yourselves right now the best way you can, right? By not texting them, by not calling them, by not trying to think about them. I feel like you guys really are trying to move forward, but it feels like they're catching on and they're catching up. Um, what is the Six of Swords about? So their intentions are to follow you, you know, to, to, to come back into your life. Yeah. All these aces, they want to be the, they want to be the one to offer you a new beginning. They want to be the one that you start over with. They want to be back on your mind for those of you that are trying, right, to move forward. Um, a lot of you do have people though with these aces. They genuinely want a fresh start, right? There's not a lot of hostility or tension. Maybe there was a breakup. Maybe they're thinking about you all of a sudden. Queen of Pentacles. I want group two back, right? I, I, I need that back in my life. I, I tried not being with our group too. It's not working out for me. Also, I'm a little bit more mature now. I'm a little bit more ready to give what group two feels like they were ready for at the time. So the queen of pentacles coming through twice is confirmation. Again, they already know what they have to come to the table with, right? They do have to start speaking your love language. They do have to start giving you more time and energy. And so their intentions do feel like for some of them that do feel like they're jealous, they they could be motivated to, to move towards you because of that. But some of them really are trying to um, grow up and mature. And I do feel like this Ace of Pentacles with the uh, Six of Swords is saying that they want to give this another try. Um, yeah, the, in, their intentions are to revive this situation, right? Um, this is why I'm feeling like there's a breakup here, death. There's, a, there's something they have to go through 
you know, something, right, uh, ending related that feels like, oh, no, you just can't revive this situation. You have to go through it first or you have to get through this challenge first, right? Death is that ending. And yes, it can signal a new beginning on the horizon, but something has to end first. And so for a lot of you, that something has ended first. You haven't heard from them. Y'all broke up. You don't talk anymore, but they're still thinking about you. You're trying not to think think about them. I do feel like this person is going to try to say, um, I've changed. Okay. Their intentions towards you look like it is to credit you. Okay. For that change. I'm more mature now. I'm more ready for a relationship now. The horrifying. I'm more ready to follow my intuition and my inner get in my inner guidance and wisdom now, which is telling me that you are that queen of pentacles, queen of coins. You are the perfect partner for me. I don't need to still be on the prowl. I don't need to continue to like date around and, and give myself to people. And it's only temporary. So um, some of you, their intentions are to marry you. That's a longer term message. Their intentions are to like be with you in a long term commitment and, you know, to to definitely take that step with you, that that step towards marital bliss here. What is the higher fun about? Scorpio is here. Taurus is here. Five of Wands. OK, um, ca uh, yeah, Scorpio, uh, Cancer, Pisces. Um, lots of Scorpio energy, but yeah, this, uh, Hierophant and with the five of wands, I, I feel like this person has still has some conflict about committing, right? Um, that, that feels like something that's going to come up They're they're They know it is, they're preparing for this to come up. Um, let's see why the five of wands is here. Seven of Swords. Um, for some of you, their intentions are to reveal to you that they were lying about not wanting to be in a relationship with you or not having feelings for you. That's for those of you that got into an argument or something and they said some things that hurt. Um, that's for those of you that felt all along that this person felt deeper for you, but they were, um, not, you know, showing you that energy. And so, um, it made it difficult for you to stick with them. And so I do feel like a lot of you, this person feels this sort of mature, um, almost spiritually led energy to tell you the truth. Five of Wands with the Seven of Swords about that they were covering up, you know, their feelings for you. They were trying to hide that. They are hoping that this is the key. That that gets you guys to move forward together. They already can sense that you're moving on without them. Or for those of you, this is like when you live together and you're not talking and it's awkward and you're starting to feel the bond slip away and you're thinking to yourself, like, should I move out? Should I? That's what it feels like is happening. This is a turning point in the relationship between you and this person, death showing up here. And so I do feel like, you know, this crossroads that it feels like you could be at with them. It really is them knowing that they have to lay it all on the line, admit their lies. Okay. They have to prepare for possibly you pushing back a little bit, challenging them on those lies. And I do feel like there's energies coming through that they, they feel a lot more confident um, you know, some days they, they feel more eager to reach out to you and, and make this, uh, this step towards you. But there are other days where I do feel like, um, there's a little bit of fear of going into that unknown territory, seven of cups. Um, some of you, this, the, this person's problem was, um, you were an option. Seven of Cups, okay? For some of you, this person's problem was that they were not ready. They they had their pick of the litter, right? They could do what they wanted to do with who they wanted to do it with. Um, even if, you know, you were just, you were the only person they were dealing with, they liked the idea of having to keep their options open, right? And so there's something coming through where that wasn't enough for them. That wasn't satisfactory enough. That wasn't fulfilling enough. And so all of these cups are now pouring out, right? I don't want these options anymore. Um, these options didn't do anything for me. And I'm still missing that queen of coins energy because that was the best I ever had, right? I saw what was out there and look, um, it's not compared to, you know, what group two was doing. So, um, 
this person had deeper feelings for you than they were willing to admit. And this is also the type of person that says we're not together. But then when you move on, they get mad. I almost feel like somebody here has had that conversation. Oh, I thought we weren't together. Why are you mad? You know, I thought we weren't dealing with each other. I thought this wasn't serious. I thought we were just, you know, casual, whatever. Some type of conversation like that feels like it's happening here. And they don't want to do that anymore. Seven of Cups in reverse. I feel like they got their feelings hurt a little bit more than you did. Seven of Pentacles here. Um, their intentions. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's like I'm picking up somebody who's almost coming back begging, right? I got the Six of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck, almost coming back with this energy of, can I please have another chance? Can we please have another, uh, another opportunity at this? You know, um, you know, let's, I, I just want to, um, let you know, I still care about you, things like that. So that text message is going to be, it, for a lot of you, is going to be like, come on, right? Um, because this person feels like they are in and out. Um, but this seven of pentacles, especially with this seven of cups in the reverse, certainly gives off somebody who's a little bit more serious about where this is going this time around, right? Let's see what this seven of pentacles is talking about. Um, it's the four of cups. They really are, uh, releasing options, um, for some of you. They thought they could sort of wait or they thought they had time or something like that. And they're realizing they don't have as much time with you as they thought they did, or they don't have that same luxury that they used to. You're on to them. You're not, your boundaries are a little bit stronger, you know? And so it does feel like there's an offer coming in Knight of Pentacles here. And it feels like the conversation comes up of, yeah, I had options or yeah, I was dealing with somebody or yeah, I was confused about this, but I don't want them anymore. This feels like the way that they sort of um, present themselves, at least as a knight of pentacles, somebody who's willing to work towards being with you. So their intentions do, does feel like it is to release some options. I, I'm t what's this four of cups? Virgo energy. All right. What's this four of cups about? The star. Um, some of you, yeah, they had a choice. They had to choose, right? For group one, I was picking up more of an energy of choosing between single life, relationship life. For you guys, I'm picking up something more of possibly having to choose between two energies, right? Um, maybe somebody they were dealing with was very flashy. Um, this person was, um, seeming like, you know, glitter but you know all that glitters isn't gold that sort of thing right this person may have been you know somebody very popular somebody um who yeah looks good this person could be somebody who they did like they were attracted to but um there's not there's something not as authentic about that person as you because you're the queen of coins the queen of coins comes off as very natural very organic um somebody who doesn't have to rely on their looks whereas they could have been dealing with somebody because look the four of cups is here before the star right so it's almost as if they're saying i don't want that sort of flashy energy right um i thought that was what i wanted but um i want someone who i'm more familiar with i want a more comfortable energy so this is maybe one of the only times or contexts where the star feels a little bit because it doesn't feel like your energy and so <laughs> with the four of cups coming through before it yeah, that can be a pretty nice message to receive that they are releasing, you know, someone that they may have thought they were better off with, someone they may have thought they were meant to be with, right? For sure, there's energy that they had options or a uh, another option here. Um, the two of swords feels like maybe that didn't go well. Maybe things didn't work out. It also feels like their intentions are to, um, I, cause I feel like they're coming to you almost desperate. King of Cups in reverse. There's something about a temper tantrum, something about nothing going their way, um, something about you guys sort of living it up and um, tapping into your self-worth and them feeling left out, um, even though this was kind of done by their own actions. What is this King of Cups in reverse? Um, it's the Emperor.
Yeah, this person has been taken down a few notches, okay? Um, it's definitely coming through five of pentacles that they lost a lot with, you know, not dealing with you. That means they could have lost some pride, some confidence, you know, those types of things, or more materially, they could have lost some money, right? Um, they could have dealt with somebody who was playing them. They could have dealt with somebody who was using them. And so the five of pentacles confirms again, that sort of self pity, this person coming to you out of desperation. That is possibly why a lot of you will need to be very cautious, right? Um, it, it's something about them that just won't be the same person you possibly were attracted to. Their intentions are to come forward, but it feels like a very self serving coming forward. They want validation from you now, even if they want to be with you, even if they felt like you're the better bet now. There's something about this person, Seven of Swords, being very dece deceitful to you in the process of getting what they thought they wanted. And when that didn't work out, trying to run back and see your corner. And so this emperor can be controlling and manipulative. What is this emperor about? It's the Eight of Swords. And also um, because I feel like their intentions, they want you to get them out of the situation that they got themselves into. This is somebody who deals with someone who chooses to deal with someone outside of you. And then they come back to you and they were like, that person was crazy. I, They are crazy. I will never deal with them again. Well, <laughs> You, that was your choice, right? That was, that was who you, you know, dealt with. That's who you were playing around on me with, right? And so there's definitely that vibe coming through that this person got themselves into a situation. Now they have this self pity. They want you to feel sorry for them. They're a little bit bitter. They're a little bit upset about how things worked out and they don't feel as in control of their life as they used to. And so there's energies coming through that they want you, the queen of coins. The queen of pentacles whether you're feminine or masculine energy to help them get their lives back in order right um what did this person get themselves into what is this eight of swords what is the eight of swords king of cups so yeah i mean i do feel like they tried to deny their feelings for you a lot of you have somebody who has has been or was treating you like they didn't care about you like they didn't love you like they didn't want you that's because they were confused about their feelings because there was someone else in the picture or something else in the picture that they hadn't yet released themselves from. And so they wanted to see if they could do both things, right? They wanted to see if they could be in this situation. Oh, I can handle it, right? I could deal with two people. It's not going to get messy. I could deal with three people. It's not going to, you know, turn around on me, you know? And I just, because I saw it, I'm just going to show it. This was at the bottom of your deck bad karma. And so I do feel like this person's intentions, again, it's a little self-serving. They're trying to get rid of some bad karma. They're trying to go there. It feels like they had um, some sort of moment where they say, okay, this is happening because I didn't do group two right. And the best thing I can do now is go back with a sincere apology Right. Even if it's coming from a selfish place, it doesn't change the fact that I still love group two or that, you know, I, I shouldn't have hurt group two. So this king of cups now in the upright feels like this person wants to um, <laughs> get themselves together enough to send that text, to make that call, to invite you, you know, to to get back into your 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 life, because I feel like they they put you through a lot to get out of it. And when they got out of it, it wasn't the outcome that they wanted. The tower, right, for what their true intentions are. So you already know this is somebody who's emotionally at times unstable. They barely know what they want, you know, any given moment. Um, there are some really sweet energies coming through, but can they fully be trusted? All right, seven of wands, right? So good you know this person is coming or you know this person has intentions now towards reaching out to you you already know the energy they're kind of coming from right um it, it feels like they want a little bit of soothing from you it feels like they're looking for some validation from you and it feels like you guys are definitely going to have to keep your um boundaries uh very firm with this person right not that you can't take the call or receive the message the energy is just coming through is that their intentions 
decisions could be to turn things upside down in your life again after you just got things back right, after you just started, you know, focusing on yourself and being in that energy of, you know, I don't need this person anymore. I don't need this relationship. Yeah, it would be great if we could, but we might not. And I still need to be okay. So the seven of wands is coming through as um, be very strict with this person. What do they want? You know, ask those questions, get into it's not here, but get into that queen of swords or even the high priestess. This will do. <laughs> okay. I like seeing this. This will do right. This is really saying that this person does feel like their intentions are to come back, but they're almost coming back like literally a wrecking ball, right? Coming back in to sort of now that you've got your tower back up, you've built layer, you know, found brick by brick, foundation by foundation. You're feeling great. You've got a lot going on for yourself. You're, you're into your healing process. You're doing well with your family, with your friends. Um, you're smiling a lot more. You're feeling a lot happier, a lot lighter. Here they come, right? And so the seven of swords with the high priestess is saying that, you know, you guys are really going to have a situation where this person does come back. This person does come back and you're going to feel sorry for them. Most likely, most likely you're going to feel sorry for this story that they have. And it's not that this story isn't their truth, right? I did do this to you and I'm sorry. And this happened when I went to be with that person or when I didn't decide to, you know, invest in you, this is what happened. And I just want to know if we still have a chance, right? That could be a sincere thing they come through with. However, because of what they put you through, it's almost something saying that um, to allow them back in immediately would be a disservice to you. And there's something here about, um, you know, you utilizing your power, okay, to um, keep them in check. Page of Cups, right? Um, King of Cups energy is nice, but not after everything this person may have put you through. And so this is where you go. We can be friends or yeah, we can work on our friendship or whatever, right? If you decide to entertain them, because I do feel like there's going to be energies coming through here where you're going to have to make a decision now. You're going to be at a crossroads, two of pentacles, and it feels like you've just gotten things back stable in your life and they're about to come in and create some sort of imbalance. And so... um their intentions, yes, it's a, a more mature them. It's a more humble them. It's a more um, invested in this relationship them. But the reason behind it may be what is creating the setback, right? You know, you, you realize you want this person back or you want to take them back, but are they doing this for the right reasons or just because their little feelings got hurt or their world got turned upside down or their, or they got a taste of their own medicine? And so I do feel like the, they look at this now as a setback, right? We didn't break up. It was just a setback. We didn't stop dealing with each other. It was just a setback. And it was a lot more than that for a lot of you. And so don't let them diminish that. Okay. Um, let's see. We have true love. So they want to see if you guys can get this back. They want to see if you still feel something for them. They, they are, their intentions are to sort of go through the process, the texting, the calling, the getting, you know, answer, asking the questions to see how you feel about them. All right. Um, they now believe this was true love or they always believed it and they played themselves, <laughs> right? Um, best they ever had. They do feel like they're going to say something like this, or they do feel like they're going to give you some sort of energy here that where, whatever, wherever they went, whoever they dealt with, whatever happened, it just was, the grass just wasn't greener. Okay. And dreaming of you, that may be how they open their message. I just had a dream about you, or I've been thinking about you a lot lately, or your birthday is coming and, you know, I had, you know, this idea, all those aces. I had this great idea. We should, you know, go to the spot, whatever, right? It really does feel like the energy is coming through is that this person wants to make it clear to you that um, if you are open to having them back into your life, they're going to run <laughs> at the opportunity, okay? So let's see what we have here, what comes through. All right, so... Their intentions guarded. 
All right. So I feel like this is you guys, right? This is you with your barriers, with your boundaries. This is you not believing them initially. This is you having your, you know, your, your radar on with them. And, it, and so I feel like they know that their intentions are to have to get through this, the barbed wire, the shield, right? To get back into your life, um, to get, to get you to even respond to them for a lot of you, right? Um, you are guarded now. You are untrusting of them now, right? Strings. Again, be careful of their reasons for coming back. Their intentions are to come back. Their intentions are to open that line of communication with you. Just be mindful of the reasons behind it, right? Um, this is a puppet master who could feel like they're missing their puppet and you don't want to be in that territory of them feeling like they can play with you again, okay? You've cut the strings, all right. For a lot of you, um, I had influence at the bottom of the deck. So, you know, um, their intentions could be to whisper those sweet nothings in your ear to get you in a really vulnerable, compromising situation and, you know, make you feel all the things you felt and then sort of disarm you and make you take down your walls and then, you know, back to where you guys were within a week. So this is just saying very, be very careful about these intentions trust all right you that's what i feel like a lot of you were going with this i have to trust you first right so you know um <laughs> you can text me occasionally you know i won't ignore you or we can be you know say hi and bye you know there's this trust that has to be built again or rebuilt right they want something instant those are their intentions they want instant gratification from you and if feels like they know they're going to be denied that. All right. Caution. All right. Um, again, this feels like you guys, <laughs> this feels like they know they're going into, you know, or they're attempting to go into territory that is now blocked off for them. Right. It, it, it feels like they know that, you know, they could be rejected. They could be uh, resisted by you, right? Um, you no longer feel the same way. And so you're a lot stronger and able to, um, you know, keep them from coming back as much. The flirt, right? That's that page of Cups Energy. What was I saying about that, that trust and that building that sort of friendship, that casual relationship first, right? That's kind of where a lot of them may feel demoted to, right? That friend zone. Um, okay, they lost your trust when it came to the relationship aspect, when you were giving your heart when you were doing your giving your all they lost that and so now they're coming back with some you know let's rebuild our friendship i do feel after they get a little irritated with possibly you pushing them away or rejecting them flirt feels like here they go again right saying the things they used to say that make you laugh doing the things they know gets you you know worked up you know that gets you feeling attracted to them and so this person does feel like they used to be irresistible to you i don't pick that up so much right now but they used to be able to do these things and have that easy way in. It doesn't feel like that way is so easy, but that doesn't mean they're not going to try. Okay. So I'm going to grab some more messages for their intentions. What are this person's true intentions towards you? Group two. All right. Um, <laughs> committing to you is my goal. All right. So for some of you, I really do feel that. For some of you, I feel like it's your person just saying that. For, for a lot of you, I do feel that, right? It's their goal. But if it's truly their goal, then now they got to wait. Now they have to be put through the tests and the challenges to, to see if they're worthy for you. If you really want that with me, okay, well, we got to go through the process. We got to start all over. Starting with trust. I feel safe in love with you. That's the queen of coins. That's why they want to come back, right? They were in a relationship that felt like it was either just superficial or physical. They weren't getting that nourishment. That's for sure. That same love, that same comfort, that same, you know, what felt meaningful. It feels like they traded that for something less meaningful or substantial and it just feels like their intentions are to come back for that comfort um you know that's why i'm getting this temper tantrum here they want you to nurture and nurse their wounds here 
My love for you is real. Again, I feel that for some of them, right? They didn't act right. They didn't treat you right. But I do feel like some of them are coming through with, you know, I'm, you know, I, I just want to be better. I want to be more mature, you know, baby steps. You make me feel like the luckiest person in the world. All right. Again, I feel that for a lot of you. <laughs> and please don't move on. That was the main energy, all right, that I was picking up for you guys. This is somebody who feels like their intentions are to try their hand again with you um, and to do it very soon. So if there's nothing going on between you at this time, just know they're in their own sort of um, upside down world right now trying to figure out how to get themselves out of this situation. They're in an eight of swords type mindset. They know what they need to do, but they may not have figured out to do it yet or how to do it yet. Something like that. All right. So that is what I have for you, group two. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe. And if you are interested in a personal reading with me, check out the details in the description box. Hi, group three. It is the Sun Sage and welcome back to a pick a card reading. I first wanted to thank you guys so much for your support, um, for subscribing to the channel, for liking the videos, for commenting, for sharing, for your interest in the personal readings. Thank you so much. I truly appreciate you. Um, thank you for your support of the Sun Sage. All right. So this pick a card is what are your person's true intentions? So this will be for those of you that are connected to someone and you want to know what their intentions are. You want to know if they're being genuine. You want to know if there's some future in this connection. And what do, what is it they are doing? Like what's, what's their energy um, as far as this is? Is this something temporary for them or more? Is this something where, you know, they are just having fun or they see a future all right so let's go ahead and get into it for you guys um you have selected the sardonyx okay all right and you have the traditional manga tarot all right um yeah so i'm gonna grab some messages here um channeling your person to see what their true intentions are before I shuffle, I am doing reversals um, as I have done for the others. And so uh, I do uh, my reversals on camera sometimes. So I was called to do that. So let's go ahead and shuffle now and see what comes through for you and your person's intentions. Thank you so much. All right. So group three, the person you are connected to, what are their intentions towards you? All right. What is coming through for this person? All right. So what are your intentions with group three? All right. Group three's person. What are your intentions with group three? Thank you. Okay. Death in the reverse. You have the king of pentacles in the reverse. All right. Group three's person. What are your intentions? I'm going to do that again. What are your intentions with group three? Devil in the reverse. Okay. Interesting. All right, group three's person, what are your intentions with group three? All right, Hierophant in the reverse. Thank you. Ace of Pentacles. Hmm, I think I see what's going on. Thank you, group three's person. Eight of Pentacles in the reverse, all right? So this person doesn't have a real plan, all right? They're like... It's all on hope and a dream, right? Temperance here. They don't have a real plan, a real strategy to sort of, they don't know yet where they are with this, what they want. They know that they don't want it to end or they know that they don't want to not connect to you. They also know that they may not want something serious at this time, but they also know that they could want to start fresh and see if that changes the, their mind about anything or changes the dynamic here. And so you are dealing with somebody who feels a little bit like they're in a confusing spot with you. Um, I do feel like, you know, this person is trying to be as honest as they can coming through. Um, there's, there's definitely something Thing about you know this ace of pentacles being the only thing upright and then you guys having temperance at the bottom um as your energy um so there's your person is basically saying that look i believe we have something 
I believe we are compatible. I believe we have something real. I believe that my intentions towards you are as genuine as they can be at this time in my life, right? I really do want, you know, this, this new opportunity with you to, I like what I feel with you. I, I like where it's going. Um, but I don't want to plan it too much, right? You could be dealing with somebody who's kind of like, let's just go with the flow. Sometimes I get that energy with like the temperance, sometimes with the six of swords. Let's just go with the flow and see where this goes, right? And depending on how long you've been dealing with them or the level of your connection, you may or may not be for that, right? Um, there's nothing wrong with going with the flow if you feel like it's going to lead somewhere or if you feel like if it's not leading somewhere, you can easily get off of that boat. But I do feel like you're connected to somebody who doesn't have a real, idea um, at this time of what their intentions are. Um, I feel like this person has tried to tell themselves this is something temporary. I feel like they have also tried to tell themselves this is something not temporary. So they go back and forth. All right. Um, let's do this again. All right. What are your intentions with group three? All right, group three's person. What are your intentions with group three? <sighs> okay, I'm doing this again, but your person, again, they don't know what they want. Dreaming of you, best I ever had, which both came through in group two. Um, Listen up. What are their intentions? What are their intentions? They know it's more than physical, big changes. All right. And you guys have past life at the bottom of the deck. All right. So there's something about some unfinished business here, which is why they probably can't really describe what's going on between you. They know they're connected to you. They just don't know why. They don't fully understand it. They also feel like um, for some of them, they may get dreams or some weird feeling like they've known you before, right? You're very familiar to them. Um, your souls have connected before, right? And they can't understand why. For some of you, this may be your clue that if you were connected in a past life, that the relationship didn't work. Um, there could have been a death of one of the partners in that past life energy. And so they are being called to try this again for some some reason they just don't know and we're going to see what's coming through um there could have been something about um <sighs> this person is really confused they're very confused um let's see why we have death in the reverse that's the easiest way to get to it is to clarify this um because i do feel like death in the reverse is them saying i i don't want to not be in your life Okay, but now what? So let's see what comes through with that. You guys have Scorpio, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Um, lots of Earth. Lots of Earth here. Um, nine of Wands. Okay. So um, your person wants this. They just don't know why. You have somebody who is aimlessly fighting for you and they don't know why. It's kind of that energy of why do you even want me, right? Um, if, if you are not serious, if you're playing games, if you're, you know, dealing with other people, why do you even want me? And so I feel like this person's intentions are to hang on to this, right? Or to cling on to this connection for dear life. The nine of wands is typically somebody clinging on to that wand, you know, in, in preparation or in some sort of anticipation of possible conflict. And so I do feel like this person is clinging on to you for dear life, okay? Okay, energetically, physically, and they don't even know why. All right. Um, I feel like there's something coming here about coming through here about their intentions feeling like um, they need some guidance from you. King of Pentacles. Right. Um, I feel like you're you're definitely connected to someone who feels something deeper here. They feel something deeper here. They just don't know what it is just yet. Two of Pentacles or some of you that have been connected to this person, they may not understand yet what it is or some some of you. You may even say they're not trying to understand. So the two of pentacles is why you've been getting wishy-washy energy from them. They they have one foot in, one foot out. They don't want to really like um, have a foundation here just yet until they like, because they're a runner, right? So they want to have that door open. They want to have that room to run when things get too deep or too serious with you, right? And so I was picking up fear for your person, right? And um, 
you know, I, I just feel like there's something coming through where there's a fear of commitment. If there's a past life energy where they feel like you guys connected before, they could be have this incredible, um, intense fear of losing you and they don't know why. Again, there, that could be something about like past life energy. Um, a partner was lost or something. Um, so they have something about being non-committal coming through here while still clinging for, uh, clinging to you and this connection. All right. I'm almost feeling like you're the king of pentacles upright and they are the king of pentacles in the reverse because I feel like this is somebody who um, believes that you are um, a soulmate for some reason. They believe that you are special in, in their lives for some reason. Um, I want to clarify this king of pentacles because that death in the reverse really feels like somebody who um, is not ready to sort of accept an ending. Yeah. Ten of swords. They're not ready to accept an ending yet. This person doesn't have a lot of expectations out of this connection with you, right? They are truly in that go with the flow mindset. They are truly in that if it happens, it happens energy. I do feel like they know something is going on here between you. They do feel compatible with you. Some of you may have a situation where this person doesn't want to... Um, uh, invest any deeper until so, like, cause some of you could have somebody else that's married. Maybe their marriage isn't working out. Maybe their relationship isn't working out. Maybe they've been married that didn't work out. And that's the fear, right? I don't want to do this, do this again. Some people are like that, right? They will, you know, be with you, but they won't give you that same commitment they gave to somebody else because that person, you know, ruined it for them forever. So just as being at the bottom of the deck has something to do with marriage. This person's intentions and why they're holding back and why they're not throwing, you know, sort of they're giving their all here. It feels like it has something to do with marriage. It feels like it has something to do with the failure of marriages in their life or the marriages of the people surrounding them. Or it has something to do with you saying, I want to be married one day or this is what I want, what I need and them not being ready for that. There's a fear. Um, and so they really do feel like um, for some of them, their intentions may be to keep things with this ace of pentacles just in this place with you right um no settling down no committing no further sort of deeper connecting at this time at, at this time is is very important because this king of pentacles in the reverse is somebody who once felt that way for you or who could feel that way for you again something like that why is the king of pentacles in the reverse here for their true intentions. They don't, they're not offering anything right now. I think that's, you know, pretty much the clearest message is that they're not really offering much right now. All right. They're not really offering, um, I feel what they offered to someone else before or offered to you before that offer feels like it's off the table. Nine of pentacles. This is why, um, some of you have broken up with this person. All right. Some of you are checking that a lot of energies here. You're inquiring about an ex. So for those of you that feel like you're kind like, hey, how did I get in this group? <laughs> right. There's something about your connection that may be giving off um, energies that your person isn't truly invested because they themselves are stuck on a breakup that they had, maybe not even with you. But I do feel like a lot of you here have uh, broken up with this person or you don't deal with this person. And so there's something about their intentions towards you aren't really showing up because you guys don't connect the way that you used to, or you aren't connecting at all at this time. This person feels pretty detached from any sort of emotional connection right now. Hierophants in the reverse, even the devils in reverse. This is somebody who may be celibate. This is somebody who's not physically dealing with people at this time. So they don't have any real intentions because again, they're kind of scattered. They don't have any real like anything in front of them that they can have intentions towards. So their intentions are themselves, right? They're independent. Um, why is the nine of pentacles here? It's the seven of pentacles, right? There's a growth process happening with this person. It does feel like their intentions towards you are almost this energy of leaving you alone while you grow, while you thrive, while you heal, right? Even if they wanted to be that partner to you at some time, again, something is coming through here like that's, that's done. That, that that's over and so real your person is very realistic that could be why we have a lot of earth here like they could be a water sign but they're being very realistic right 
um, that I don't have any intentions towards group three because we're not together right now or we're not, you know, seeing eye to eye. We're kind of just moving on with our lives. So that feels like it can be the main energy here and why this person really doesn't show up as having any real intentions, any real offers, things like that. Something about the will of fortune is saying that um, this person is kind of wishing you well. Um, kind of wishing you the best here. Um, that's their intentions. They don't have any ill will. Okay. Um, they're not coming through wanting to hurt you. They're not coming through wanting to, um, make any major changes in how things are with you right now. It feels like they know here with big changes, things would have to change drastically for you guys to come back together. And that could be what they're leaving up to sort of the universe that go with the flow. If we come back into each other's lives, because look at this, the 10 of swords underneath that temperance, um, something has ended they're moving on, you're moving on. And so you guys could be inquiring about somebody you're just curious about, but realistically you're like, I'm not really expecting much because we haven't talked in nine months. We haven't dealt with each other in years, something like that. I just want to see if they have any um in, in, in good intentions. So I'm not picking up, you know, negative intentions. I'm also just not picking up any intentions towards relationship dynamic at all. And again, this has something to do with a death, some sort of ending in your relationship that feels like this person is accepting that. Um, the devil in the reverse, their intentions certainly aren't to play games with you, manipulate you, use you, um, uh, you know, um, have these sort of, yeah, negative energies towards you. It just doesn't feel like that's where their head is at with you. Why is the devil in the reverse? Thank you. All right, the four swords. Yeah, something has been laid to rest or something has been chilling for a while. High priestess, it's been really quiet between you guys. And I don't feel like they want to disturb your peace. I feel like they don't want to disturb your progress. I feel like this person is accepting that, you know, um, whether you left off on good terms or bad terms, the terms are still this. It is done, right? Um, the four of swords here, the high priestess, it's, it's very quiet between you. They don't want to disturb you in any way. Um, they don't want to, and, and this could be partly because they also want to close themselves off to you. Like this is somebody who won't, um, who unfollows you. Um, after, like I had somebody who unfollowed me after we stopped dealing with each other because, um, I was just posting like my birthday. I was posting me being out and stuff. And I knew the person I was dealing with, you know, they were a Pisces. I knew they couldn't handle seeing me, you know, still live my life. And so, um, you could be dealing with somebody like that, sort of trying to close off all of themselves, you know, all of the, the, their routes to you in a way, because they don't want to be hurt. They don't want to be triggered. All right. So they're kind of staying away. They're closing off any sort of, um, easy access they could have had to you, whether it's social media, whether it's asking people about you, they feel like they don't have any intentions to do that. They're, they're giving you your peace. All right. What is this for swords? And sometimes, like, because I'm an understanding person, so sometimes you just have to be understanding that people don't want to, the same way you may not want to be triggered, um, the same way someone else may not want to be triggered, they can't handle it, right? Especially if they're very, very emotional and it's difficult for them with breakups and, you know, um, it's it, it can be hard, harder for some energies than others, right? Certain people can just move move on can just, you know, like nothing ever happened. And then there are other energies that stay, you know, in that mourning phase for a very long time. Right. And so I feel like you have somebody like that. What is this for swords? Um, this person feels like they don't have any access to you at all. Um, nine of cups, they could want access to you. Um, but the tower, again, there's something saying that, you know, their intentions towards you are, they don't want to create, uh, you're in a growth process. You see the butterfly wings. This is you. Like they don't want to get you caught up again. They really care about you. All right. This person really cares about you, especially if they're a water or earth sign. Okay. Um, it's kind of like they're saying, their intentions are you guys are going your separate ways. You're not attached to to each other in any unhealthy ways at this time. And, and that's how they like it. 
with that uh, Nine of Cups energy. That's how they prefer it to be. All right. It's coming through with that um, Four of Swords that I really feel this this total peace coming through, right? You guys are at peace. They're at peace. Their intentions are not to disturb that peace. What is this Nine of Cups about? All right. For what are your person's true intentions? They feel they could feel like you're happy without them. They could feel like you're in love with someone else. Ace of Cups. Um, for some of them, they are like, again, when the time comes, because it's not here yet, three of swords, it's not the time they're still hurting. You're still hurting. They're still easily triggered. You're still easily triggered. Um, and so it's best to stay disconnected from each other, but there's something definitely coming through now about this go with the flow is because there still may be an inkling of hope that you guys may come back together. All right. Um, something about this relationship got really, really, really intense and, um, you know, this is one of those things where it's like, maybe we should just stop dealing with each other before somebody really gets hurt. And I really do feel like their intentions are, um, they, they had to, um, cool themselves down a bit, um, with that four of swords, with this nine of cups, ace of cups. They really had to, you know, literally take a water break, right? They literally had to, um, allow themselves sort of a respite from this connection. It got super intense. You got hurt. They got hurt. Um, the, the, it could have been a bad breakup, a bad separation. Words were exchanged and now there's peace. They don't want to go back to sort of the alternative. Um, but I do feel like um, some of you do have somebody whose true intentions are, if they are leaving you alone, if they are not bothering you, you can trust that they are doing this, not because they're trying to hurt you or because they have moved on. If it, it really feels like they're trying to respect the feelings they have or had for you and they want you to be happy and they want you to move on or something like that, because I don't feel like this person has any ill will towards you intention wise. The Hierophant in the re reverse, it kind of comes through like in this message is that the way the relationship was, it was never going to work anyway. So there's an acceptance again with that Hierophant in the reverse. We had a, a, a non-traditional relationship where we had a relationship that was kind of, you know, it wasn't your typical, right? We knew that there was something special about it, but there was also something about it that made it really difficult to be in it. And so you may even agree with that. Why is this horrifying here? This person feels like they're mature. <laughs> and yeah, they just, their energy comes through as kind of peaceful here with their intentions. They don't want to um, disturb. Yeah, King of Cups. I feel like this person still cares about you a lot. Okay. For some of you, they could still love you. They may accept that it's over death again. Okay. Heavy Scorpio here, heavy earth here. Um, I just feel like you have somebody who is, um, it's almost like somebody who says, look, I love you. I just, you know me, I can't do relationships. I want to be with you. I just can't give you what you need right now. Something like that, right? And they mean it. So if they're saying that, they mean that, right? They're they're trying to tell you they don't have much to offer. What they have to offer is going to feel nice until you realize there's not really much after that with this Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. Um, and so you guys may have tried this with them before. It actually feels like you've gotten back together and broken up a few times. And each time it feels like something was learned from this person that maybe I just can't be in a relationship with group three, something like that. But I can love group three. I just can't be in a relationship with group three. What is this King of Cups? It's the seven of cups. Um, yeah. So their true intentions with you, um, they feel like, the, so <laughs> this person may feel like there's someone out there better for you. So their intentions are to keep it as it is to give you that room to find what you need. Okay. They believe you have options, better options than them. What is the seven of cups about? At least in this energy, it's the Ten of Pentacles. Yep, they want the best for you. Those, that's their intentions. 
They want the best for you. They feel like you deserve a relationship. They feel like you deserve somebody who's committed, somebody who's sure about you, right? That's the one thing that, you know, doesn't get discussed enough sometimes in the collective. Sometimes you're dealing with people who are accepting that they just aren't the one for you, but you're not accepting it, right? You still want them to be in that role. And they're saying, I can't, I won't, you know? And so this is somebody who feels like that kind of conversation has happened or will happen. And it feels like their intentions are to see you happy are to see you, you know, having a blessed life. They don't feel like they're going to be bitter about that at all. They actually feel like you deserve it. And they feel like almost like I knew that I was incapable of giving that four of pentacles, right? Maybe they felt short on resources. Maybe they felt like they didn't have the that committed energy they needed, that devotion they needed, that care that you need to take when you go into a connection with somebody and when you make certain promises. So it feels like this person wants to um, accept that you are possibly, um, there's something about this connection that is soul feeling as it, as soul, you know, there's so much soul c c uh, d commitment here. I can't even, like, there's something here, but it, it may not be your time with them. Okay. What is this 10 of pentacles? I'm going to keep going on this one and then I'll go to the next thing, but that feels pretty clear to me. What are their intentions? They they knew they weren't going to be the person you needed. Um, Hierophant. They weren't going to give you the relationship that you wanted. Yep. Confirm. Three of Swords. They feel like you should have it. Okay. For those of you that have, are inquiring about an ex and you're remarried or you're married or you're dealing with somebody else, this person's intentions are to see you, to, for you to truly be happy. All right, for you to truly get what they feel like they were unable to give you. This person was lacking, okay? And so there was a lot of heartache, all right, in this connection. There was a lot of disappointment in this connection. There was a lot of, I can't, I don't know how, I won't, I, it just won't work. That type of energy, right? And I see it here with the Eight of Pentacles in the reverse, whether it was by their own choice that they decided not to put in that effort or them just feeling like they didn't have the energy to do it is coming through that that is their authentic energy with you at least, that they just didn't have it in them to do it. And so they still feel like you deserve it, right? They still feel like this is something that in another world, in another sort of life, even, you know, they would have been able to do this. It just feels like right now this person doesn't have the, the highest level of confidence to believe that they can provide anything more than this to you, an ace of pentacles, right? Um, I can only sort of give you the butterflies we get in the beginning, the cool conversations we have the first two weeks. After that, I'm pretty much checked out. I don't really have, I'm, I'm pretty, you know, that's it for me, right? Um, what is this ace of pentacles? Um, they're very practical. Yes, the five of wands. Also, um, you know, for some of you, you could be dealing with someone else. I mean, this person could be dealing with someone else. And so intentions, their intentions towards you are void because they have intentions somewhere else. They can't really split their time that way or they're making the decision not to, right? A lot of people try to do that, but this person feels like they don't want to or they don't want to anymore. So the Ace of Pentacles with the Five of Pentacles feels like I wanted to have better intentions towards group um, three, but Five of Swords, it just wasn't in the cards. It just wasn't working the way that it should have worked or the way that I would have liked it to work. So the Five of Swords is, is, you know, I'm accepting this and I'm doing what's best for both of us because I'm not going to reach out to group three. I'm not going to, you know, um, sell group three dreams. I'm not going to do that. And so it feels like this person is conceding that this wasn't going to work, at least in this energy. <sighs> it's the world. And so it had to end. Their intentions, it feels like um, somebody admitting that it was great in the beginning, Ace of Pentacles, but clarified with the five of wands in the world, um, it, it really didn't have that much hope of going forward, okay? What is the world? Thank you, it's two, the Naval Swords and the Ace of Pentacles, again, 
Um, so the knave is what the page of swords. Um, there's, it feels like there's something else here. Your person is very disciplined strength. Okay. This person may want to, you know, they may occasionally have felt tempted by you or wanting to call you or text you or something, but what it feels like is holding them back is that you both could have new lives. You both, they saw on, on social media, you know, they saw on your page, you're moved on or they're moved on. Like somebody's posted pictures of their kids and their new life with another person or something. And so their intentions feel like it is to let it be. All right. Eight of Pentacles. All right. So knowing what you know of the Eight of Pentacles, it being in the reverse really tells you the full story. This person's intentions feel like it's not to really give any sort of energy to this. All right. Um, it's the Six of Pentacles. They feel like that's, that's, that's being generous, right? Um, because I don't want to give you hope. All right. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to play that game. It's a lot of pentacles. Some of you are dealing with somebody who's being very practical right now, right? They may feel different a few months from now, right? But right now there is something going on in their life or someone they are dealing with where they are taking that very seriously, or they are respecting that you have something going on. That doesn't mean this person is unhappy. That doesn't mean that you're unhappy. That just means that there is an acceptance that now you are living two separate lives and it's probably best to keep it that way, right? You've gone your way. They've gone theirs. Six of pentacles. It evens out. Nobody feels neglected. Nobody feels, you know, sort of left out in the cold here. It really feels like there's an understanding. Eight of Wands, we've moved on with our lives, right? Somebody has possibly literally moved, right? And so there's a distance, physical distance between you now. So if you're, you know, inquiring about somebody who's in a different state, a different country from you, there's definitely energy coming through where this is why they're sort of in that. If it happens again, it happens because the way that life is working out for you both right now, you're just both in different spaces. All right. Um, you're both doing different things. Again, you both could actually be really happy in your individual lives, but the person you are specifically inquiring about doesn't feel like they have access to you anyway right now. And so the nine of swords is like, this is something that they could think about often. They could dream about you for sure. Um, but I do feel like there's some distance between you. There's some space, there's some oceans, some lands for some of you between you. And so all they're left to is dreams, right? Um, you know, I thought of you the other day, or I had this crazy dream about you the other day. How's everything going? You know, how are your kids? How's your husband? Like, I really do feel those types of conversations because this person feels mature. They don't feel mad or bitter or anything. Right. So for those of you that are like, oh no, this person is mad. This person is upset that I'm moving on this, you know, this energy is not tapping into them. Then this is tapping into more mature people, right? This is tapping into people who are, again, not miserable. I mean, uh, eight of wands here, uh, moving on about their life, their intentions feel, it doesn't feel like it's to, you know, change, upset the apple cart too much. Right. Um, it would take big changes for you guys to come back together because again, you may have been the best they ever had. You may have great memories with this person. They will never forget you, but there's something right now saying they're accepting the separation. They're accepting the breakup. They're accepting the ending and they want what's best for you. All right. So their intentions are for you to have a good life, even if it's not with them. Their intentions are for you to get that relationship you're so deserving of, even if they couldn't give it to you. All right. Listen up. I feel this person's intentions here with this listen up. Um, it is for at some point, if you guys do communicate again, that could be something coming in. Um, <laughs> your person is saying, if you reach out to them, they will talk to you. They are not going to reach out to you. So that is coming through, but they do want to be listened to, right? And they do feel like their intentions next time are to listen to you a little more, right? I feel like they're saying something along the lines of, yeah, I, I want to be heard. I want to be understood, but I didn't listen to group three enough. I didn't understand group three. I didn't give them that energy that I was, you know, listening to them. So this person does feel like there's something hear about if you had something to say they would hear you they would listen to you 
All right. If there's something you have to get off of your chest, I do believe that they would be that person, that mature person to be like, sure, we could talk about it. Right. Sure. We can, you know, have those words. Right. Big changes. OK, so this is why this is coming through, because the energy is that not a lot is happening right now between you. And so it would take major changes. Somebody moving back to where you are, somebody, you know, reaching out to you and it doesn't feel like they're, they're planning to do that. They don't really have a plan or any intentions to do anything like that. It just feels like this person is accepting that you both have changes. Things have changed, right? Your lives are different than when they were when you were together. And so there's something about them really do, I mean, really do them really caring about you. And they really do have feelings for you or care about you still or love you. But um, the way y'all lives are set up right now, it just feels like there's no access, no realistic chance of you getting back together, at least at this time. So they're, they're not, they're not even, you know, entertaining it. All right, Gurthy, let's see what other messages come through for you guys. All right. What are your person's intentions towards you? Your true intentions, differences. Okay. If this doesn't sort of, you know, give us a picture of what we've already been seeing here, I, I feel like this is very clear, right? You guys live different lives now. Um, you did have some differences in your relationship that turned out to be deal breakers. Okay. And so I do feel like this person has accepted that. Um, we have fear. All right. Healing was what flipped out. So I'll keep that. But we have fear. All right. I feel like, you know, this person doesn't want, again, to interrupt your life. And, you know, they don't want to upset things too much in either of your lives. Right. Let's say they are dealing with somebody right now but and they do occasionally think about you. This person actually feels like they go, you know what? My new person would not respect if I'm reaching out to my ex or if I'm calling you, texting you. I'm not going to do that. Right. Because they don't want you to think that they would do it to you. Okay, I remember when um, I remember like a magazine article Jennifer Lopez did and she was married at the time when she started to I think she was starting to connect to. I don't know if it was Diddy or her dancer husband, Chris, I think was her dancer husband, but she was saying that she was really starting to catch feelings for one and none. I don't know. And. She didn't entertain it. It was third party ish, right? Third parties aren't always you go all in with somebody. It really is somebody comes in and sort of awakens you, changes your mind about things, makes you see things differently. And you go, should I stay with the person that I'm with or should I go take this leap of faith? And so she was basically saying that I, I wanted to do it the right way so that, um, I, I needed the new person to know that I would never cheat on them or be deceitful with them. And I feel like this is your person's energy. Like, um, as much as they care for you, they, they respect you and they could respect the person that they're with, even if there may be some, you know, lack of feelings. I'm not seeing it here, but let's say they are with somebody. Um, they do respect that person and care for them. And they want you to know, I'm not going to reach out to you, not because I'm not interested in how your life is going, but because if I was with you, how would you feel about me reaching out to an ex? Something like that, just, you know, to wrap it up. But yeah, so I feel like there's a healing process taking place. They don't want to interfere with, right? There are still some triggers and wounds here, um, you know, hearing from you or, the, or, or you hearing from them may actually invite something that you don't want, right? Um, and so they are being mature about that and they're embracing that there is an ending here that I want to sort of honor, even if they don't like it, even if they're not with somebody else, they are honoring this, right? They have a fear of reaching out to you anyway. They don't want to upset anything. They want to step on anyone's toes, codependency. This could have been the issue in your relationship, right? And so their intentions were to, I feel, break free of this. Neither of you felt like you were um, satisfied with how things were in this connection. I'm going to grab one more for you guys. Um, strings. 
Yeah. Um, and guarded their intentions. I mean, you guys don't have access to each other right now. It's coming through. This can even be a situation where let's say you live together. Y'all may not be communicating, right? Um, it can be very awkward, right? We kind of stuck in this house together. Both of us are unhappy. You know, we, we still got to be in each other. Like, it's just something, there's a disconnect in this relationship at this time. And I feel like this person is trying to honor um, what's happening, right? Even if you can feel yourself, even if you haven't got to this place yet and you feel this connection, you drifting apart, um, they're not fighting for it at this time. They feel like it needs to just sort of happen. Temperance here. I'm going to grab some more messages for you, group three. All right, let's see what we have for you guys. Um, what messages are coming through for your person's true intentions towards group you? I mean, towards you, group three. You are very special to me. Yep, I can feel that. I feel that. I feel that. I feel that you are still special to them or you are special to them. Some of you never doubted it. Some of you were concerned. If you still meant anything, you do. You're very special to this person. You mean a lot to them. They do think about you, whether they're with somebody or not. I think the bigger thing that's happening is that they're saying that at least we're both in a peaceful state. At least we're both feeling like we're happier, um, you know, where we are. And I feel like that's something that they really want your happiness. All right. Cause you are so special to them. I can't explain it right now, but I will soon. All right. You guys have a pretty clear reading. Your person is definitely, you know, not in your life or not connected to you at this time. Emotionally. I don't care if they're in the next room. The communication is just not happening. And so there's something that they're saying about their intentions is I, you know, now is not the time is basically the energy I'm getting to, to sort of reach out, to take any steps towards you, to entertain anything with you. Um, I just don't feel like they're going there. I'm going to do this again. Okay. I'll take it. I'm trying so hard. This is for those of you that have somebody that is forcing themselves not to text you or call you. They they feel like out of respect, if group three has moved on, if group three, you know, doesn't want me anymore, I need to respect that. They are trying so hard. You saved me. This is why you're so special to them. All right. A lot of you made this person a better person. All right. Whatever you're going through right now, you could currently be making them a better person. You consume my thoughts. They think about you a lot. They dream about you. We saw that. Um, they're healing at this time, right? They, they're, they're very sensitive to triggers. Okay. So even hearing your voice, they could shut down. All right. You hearing their voice could shut you down. You getting a text from them could throw you off. Right. If you're trying to move on, something like that. So there's something here about them saying, let's leave it as it is. You're special to me. You saved me. I want you to know that you're important to me. But let's just respect each other's space at this time. Their intentions feel like it is to still honor this this separation or break or whatever is happening right now. Okay, so that is what I have for you, group three. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Do not forget to hit the like and subscribe. And don't forget to uh, check out the description box if you would like a personal reading with me.